All right, French horn peoples, line 122. Three, four time signature, which means how many beats per measure? Three, that's correct. And what kind of note gets one beat? The quarter note, that's right. All right, now the interesting thing about this is it's got dotted quarter eighth notes and it's got slurs. So the strategy, again, we want to be able to say those dotted quarter eighth rhythms correctly. Also, since it's in three, four time, it does make it a little bit more of a challenge to do rhythms because we're not as used to three, four time. All right, so let's say the first two measures together and tap our feet. So here goes. One, two, three. Ta, ti, ta, ta, ti, ta. Okay? Now, you want to be able to tap that? Remember that ta, ti, ta. Let me give you the, the foot cam. Any? Hopefully you can see my foot. Ready? One, two, three. Ta, ti, ta, ta, ti, ta. Very important that you get that rhythm. Okay. And then what you're going to do is you can play it on one note. How's about we do it on a G? That's our starting note. One, two, three. All right. Then after that, you figure out the notes. You, you're get, kind of getting to know the drill now, right? You figure out what the notes are. So pause the video. All right. Here, let's see what we got. G, A, B, A, B, C. Notice that my B is B and not B flat. Can you tell me why? Okay, and if you said yes, because there's no flat in the key signature and there's no flat in the measure, so therefore we just play plain old B. All right, now let's, let's play that without the slur. Okay, one, two, three. <laughs> Get the idea? Then what you want to do is slur it after you can do it correctly while with tonguing. Ready? One, two, three. Cool, huh? All right, next two measures. Let's say the, that rhythm. One, two, three. Ta, ti, 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 ta, rest. Okay? And we could play that on one note. Let's play it on A. One, two, three. And then you want to figure out what your notes are. You can pause the video. Okay. A, C, B, A, C, B, rest. All right. And then you play it without slurs. One, two, three. And then once you can do that, you add in the slurs. One, two, three. Okay, so here's the thing. I know I'm kind of going a little quick because I don't want these videos to be too long. Pause them when you need to, work on stuff. Don't expect that it'll exactly always figure out on the first day you do it. You know, it may take until three or four days into your practicing that you, you're able to actually do some of the stuff. But keep trying, okay? And listen to this video as much as you can, uh, or as much as you need to, I should say. Now, um, I'm going to let you figure out the rest of it, okay? Just use the same procedure. Um, this will help you to be able to teach yourself a lot of stuff if you kind of break it down. You know, rhythm first with your voice, then rhythm with one note. And that's always with a foot tap, right? Because rhythm without a foot tap is really not what we were after. We want to make sure we have a foot tap. And then finally with the notes, so you got to figure out your notes, then you put the rhythm and the notes together. If there's slurs, you leave them out. And then finally the last step is you put the slurs back in. All right, have fun, practice hard.